Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at some of the new features in the April 2019 update. Two features that are rather simple but I don't know uh, one of them that I think is not a bad idea and is the fact that when you actually go into the quick actions center you now have a slider at the bottom for the uh, screen brightness that you can actually adjust. Now you guys don't see the screen brightness adjusting here because of the recording of the screen but I do see it when I play with it. So this is a new feature that's been added right there. Um, if you've been playing around with this and want to adjust the screen brightness, you know sometimes it's too bright at night or too dark in the daytime, we can manually adjust it. And I think it's a nice touch, not a big feature of course, but it's a nice way. One of the things that you got to remember is that if you have a desktop or if you're using an external screen, that slider will not work. It works with internal screens of the laptop itself or tablet computer that you're using. So uh, don't think that this works for every situation. Uh, for example, on my Insider machine where I got the same slider, if I play with it, nothing happens. Why? Because I am plugged into an external screen and the, inter the external screen does have its own brightness. So if this slider doesn't do anything, uh, maybe you're using an external screen and that's where you'll need to check out for the brightness. But it's a nice little touch, you know, a nice and easy way now to have the um, screen brightness adjust. Another little thing, and this one is kind of uh, curious, well, it's part of, you know, the continuing efforts. So with the October 2018 update, April 2018 update, Microsoft team has been, you know, playing around with having an icon for every little feature. So uh, when you go into your settings, well, not only do you have the name for sound, for example, you get a little speaker icon, display, little screen icon, notifications, a little text box style, focus assist, a crescent moon, and so on. Well, they've been really working to have every single feature have an icon that actually tries to represent what each feature is all about. And where it is actually new is in the power settings. So when you go to, uh, or the power options, you know, shutting down your PC, restarting your PC, when you go to the start menu and you go to that little button here for the power, well, what appears is, of course, sleep, shut down and restart, but they have their icons show up now. Something that wasn't there before. So on the October 2018 update, for example, there's sleep, shut down and restart, but there's no little icon that is next to it. And now there is. These are very minor things, but apparently for some people they might be of interest and um, you might understand a little better what each icon will mean when you associate the icon and the word of what or you know what it actually does so there's here but in the settings there's a few more places where there are icons that have shown up that we're still missing so two little very minor features but that are part of the new April 2019 update so new icons including in the power options and that brightness slider when you go to the quick actions in your Windows 10 April 2019 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.